Mr. Alexander Houndleton, sir, thank you for doing an interview. First question, how can the average pup be more like you? You've done so much. You're a genius. <laughs> Pups sometimes attribute my success to my genius, but all the genius I know anything about is hard work. I was born with nothing except one thing. I could work harder than any other dog. As a pup, I earned my way to the colonies, I went to an obedience school of the highest pedigree, and I became an attorney at Paw. Then the war came, and I served with General George Woofington. As his senior dog de camp, I wrote and wrote and wrote until our victory at Yorktown. After the war, the packs needed a system to lead them. That was the Constitution. It, it had great ideas, but most dogs didn't understand the new tricks. So we went to work to explain it all. We wrote and wrote 85 essays. It was only the work of three of us, and humbly, I remind you, I wrote 51 myself. But one drop made a ripple, and the words spread and spread until all dogs knew the canine sense of the Constitution. That it would be good for all the United Packs. Now is my greatest challenge. I have grand plans. A national bank to help us grow, a mint to make our money for kibble and T-bones, e even Coast Guard dogs. Some dogs call what I do genius, but it is really the fruit of work and thought. Never stop. I may be one dog, but my industry makes my ideas spread to every creature. Yours can too. Go write your own story. Today's tale is about Alexander Hamilton and the virtue of industry. Hamilton was born in the Caribbean and really did start with very little but his brilliant mind. Once in the colonies, he graduated from King's College, became a lawyer, and served as General Washington's aide de camp. When the new United States needed the Constitution to succeed, Hamilton wrote 51 of the 85 essays of what became known as the Federalist Papers. When he became Secretary of the Treasury, he was able to develop and see out plans for the United States future, like the National Bank, the U.S. Mint, and the Coast Guard. Sadly, he died in a duel before he turned 50, but his legacy shines brighter today than ever before. <laughs>